Hi, this is Loser Film, and definitely I believe that Brad Pitt antics during the press tour for the movie Bullet Train hurt the bottom line when it comes to box office numbers that this movie has done and how well it's really holding when there's absolutely no competition. Don't get me wrong, its opening weekend was fine, but when it comes to a movie like Bullet Train, a typical action movie that has quite a hefty budget, it needs to hold on well at the box office, have good word of mouth and not drop off a cliff. But unfortunately Bullet Train is dropping off a cliff. It dropped around 55% in the US in its second weekend and it dropped overseas quite a bit which means that this bullet train movie is running out of steam quite quickly it's up around 110 to 120 million worldwide so who knows if it's going to catch up to the last city which is a comedy so it should be making a lot more than that typical movie i feel like a typical action movie like bullet train with a big major star should be making 300 million or more because it has that appeal that something like Lost City does not where it's more like a streaming movie or something people rather wait for. Where action movies, especially when you put money into them, they look like a blockbuster movie. And considering Bullet Train's target audience is the male audience, the fact that Brad Pitt did what he did by wearing a skirt to the premiere to Bullet Train hurt his audience quite a bit. Because when you target audiences, which are in various boxes, you put the money and sink it into the marketing campaign that goes after the audience that's most likely to see your movie. And when it comes to bullet train, that just goes to show men who aren't very politically correct. That's their target audience demographic when it comes to something like bullet train. So the fact that Brad Pitt wore that skirt when he's getting paid 20 million, I'm pretty sure, or even more for this movie bullet train, it's not only going against Sony, but really a slap in the face. Because really you want to do everything you can to make sure this movie is successful not cause controversy and cause bad publicity around your movie which it what it did it creates a lot of people off port for the bullet train movie who may be on into that kind of thing or now think that the bullet train movie is more of a politically correct mo movie when it isn't that's been made clear because the woke mob have come for the bullet train i don't know if this was Brad Pitt trying to get the woke mob to support his movie but it doesn't work like that and it was a big mistake for Brad Pitt to do that and that's why it's very important when you have these actors advertise their movie or TV show they have to play by the rules you have to do what the studio wants and the studio would allow and I don't think Brad Pitt was playing by the rules by showing off in a skirt and being controversial when it came to his bullet train premiere and it definitely caused a lot of box office numbers to go flying out the window and a lot of tickets not to be sold for bullet train especially when it came to its follow-up weekend and if i would brad pitt i would be very careful because this behavior is not going to help him continue to get big paychecks like he did for bullet train or studios to have faith in him when it comes to selling movies because he's got quite the bad track record and not to mention he was flirting with a load of the women which looked very thirsty and wasn't a great look for him in interviews it's kind of taken advantage in a way considering he's the movie star and these women are the interviewees and other ones trying to help him promote his movie it just doesn't sit right for me all this behavior is just very weird odd and i definitely think it contributed to putting people off when it comes to the movie bullet train and how many people followed up to see it in its second week end so if i was brad pitt i would maybe lay low and start with this controversial behavior because it's not helping your movie bullet train one bit and considering there's no really competition out at the moment bullet train should hope that it holds well in its third weekend because if it goes off another cliff and drops quite a bit then this movie is going to end up being quite the flop for sony and not making money for them but to be quite honest i think sony see the red paint on the wall with bullet train and i don't think they'll be green lighting the sequel any time and will be very careful with who they cast because clearly brad pitt doesn't sell tickets or at least it's proven not to sell much tickets beyond its opening weekend so i love to hear comments below of what you think about brad pitt's weird antics causing the movie bullet train to fly off a cliff in its second weekend and it to struggle when it comes to the box office numbers also be sure to click that subscribe button give this video a like and click that notification bell to support this channel thank you for watching and it's goodbye from me for now